the significance, for example, of Michelle O'Neill coming in as the first uh, Sinn Féin First Minister is just, uh, I, I suppose, a clear emblem of the wider change that's happened right across uh, Ireland. It's unmissable. It's here in the north, but it, it's echoed throughout the uh, island. There's a conversation underway about what ha happens next 25 years, 26 years almost on from the Good Friday Agreement. What does Ireland look like in five years' time, in 10 years' time, in a generation's time? Uh, what and do you think? the, what do you the think? Th that's a very exciting conversation. What, what do you think Pardon it looks me? like in, say, 10 years' time? Do you think it looks like a united Ireland? Uh, I, I, I do. I think the days of partition are numbered. It doesn't work. There's a cost to partition. Inevitable. We started our conversation. Oh, no, nothing in life is inevitable, although they say death and taxes come, uh, come very uh, close. Uh, th there are no inevitabilities in, in political life, but, but I can tell you this much. We started our conversation talking about uh, money, talking about funding this place. And the reality is that so long as Ireland is partitioned, we will face very, very significant uh, economic challenges and disadvantages here in the north and all along the border corridor. The facts are that the big opportunities from our island, whether it's in terms of the climate catastrophe and renewable energies and how we develop that, our skills base, um, our innovation and research base, all of those things only make sense on an all-island basis if we're serious about grabbing big opportunities and really making our mark on the international stage, but perhaps more I importantly, guess, um, ensuring th that we deliver the highest quality and standard of living for people right across the island.